Hi everyone, it's Front Row Phyllis. Let's travel to Paris of 1899, where we enter a world of romance and splendor in this musical mashup extravaganza, Moulin Rouge, the musical. The amazing Sir Elton John. Oh my gosh. I mean, when you heard that, <laughs> there was one point in rehearsal where he actually, uh, there was a new song being introduced and he had sent over uh, a demo of his, him singing and none of us really heard it because we were, we were going, what is our lives? Yeah. So what does it feel like to be Broadway's first, you know, black phantom in Phantom of the Opera? You know, it was a role that I coveted uh, for 20 years and I finally, it finally came to fruition after those 20 years. But uh, you know, for me, it's bigger than that. Like for the younger generation, that wants to get into this business, what advice do you have for them? Oh, follow your dreams. Yeah, if, if, you, if you want something, don't, don't back down. Just go for it and be yourself. Yeah, and to piggyback off of what you're saying, be yourself and, and, and try to be the best version of you, I, I think, um, because this business is not just about uh, your talent. It's, it's about who you are as a human being and, and spreading your love and your light in the same way that we do on the stage. And how inspiring is it to play real life historical queens in front of not only young girls, but women? How did that feel? What, what did that mean? It is so inspiring because we are a cast of all people of color. So it is very inspiring to look out into the audience and see those young women seeing themselves in us yes. and we see ourselves in them. Because Why do you think the show has been, you know, able to continue to really wow audiences like it has? Um, I think the themes of the show are timeless. You know, we deal with, with life and, and death, loss, hope. I think it's their themes that are timeless. Live from the Cadillac Theater, it's from Rope <laughs>